This is a video of a waterfall that I helped construct using my molded rock panels. I had a customer who purchased some panels about a year ago to create this project, but then he asked if uh, I'd come out to help him with the installation. All the end results of the design layout were at his sole control, and as such, I would have had an entirely different outcome if I would have done the project as I would wanted to do it. But let's look and see how we made this feature. Originally, the feature started out as being this panel, being the waterfall that fell into a little pond. So initially, we started to construct a small waterfall as such. His wife thought it'd be good to go from this water pond down to this one, which made the waterfall considerably larger. To give you a better perspective of the process, we started out by digging the upper and the lower ponds. We then covered all areas of the complete feature with a rubber liner, which I normally don't use as my cement work is always watertight, so therefore I don't use liners. We then poured a concrete underlayment as a base for, for the two ponds and the water table rock areas between the two ponds. We then placed the vertical rock panel in the upper pond and concreted it in place. Next, we created a cardboard form to be able to bond an upper concrete pond to the back side of the panel to feed water down the panel and into the lower pond. Once the cardboard form was securely in place, we formed the upper concrete pond to the back side of the panel. As we poured the concrete underlayment, we reinforced it with mesh. Okay, this is the conclusion of the first day. The ponds were dug, the liner was laid down, the concrete underlayment for the ponds and the table rock areas. The panel was set in and concreted, ready to start building rocks on the side tomorrow. Okay, now, second day, first thing in the morning, we basically took the liner that we had that's excess and stood it up on stakes to where it would make like a dam. Water can't go outside left or right. It's got to go down the pond, so... That's kind of containment. Now we're going to build rocks around the upper panel on the sides and all the way down to the lower pond. I noticed that in this video we had made the concrete form, but we have not yet poured the concrete in there. So we're getting ready to do that as well. This is a close-up shot of the concrete form overview. I wish I had taken some pictures on the side, but what we did was we formed a cardboard that would fit to the back of this and then just grate foamed it a urethane foam till it was dry and then we carved off the extra foam and started pouring the uh, concrete inside the uh, back side of the panel. Okay, in this video we have cut some panels and wired them together, what we call hanging the panels, and we washed them down. We're about to add the fiber mud to seam them together. If it's overhanging, we need to cut it off. Okay, just more shots of uh, Fred and I cutting panels and, and wiring them together, getting ready to mud them, so. I'm the boss. <laughs> I don't know how to get around it. All right, I included this video because I thought it was kind of cool. The, after I got off work, I came home and I casted six panels. I covered them with plastic and then four or five sleeping bags each of the six panels. And then and now I'm breaking them open. And you can see the heat that I've trapped and cooked these panels with. You can't put your panel and leave it on the panel for very long. It's that hot. And you can see the steam coming off. It's pretty cool. So now I'm taking them to the job. We're going to use them this morning. This is after I've even broken them open and they've been sitting for a minute and I put them out in the truck. They steamed for about 15 minutes. That's how hot they were. Okay, this is the morning of the third day and the panels that we had cut and mudded the day before are all dry and we're ready to add some more coming down the hill. 
All right, morning of the fourth day, and we made five of the side rocks and four of the water table rocks, and now we're just running the pump to see that everything works fine. Obviously, I've got to make a removable cover rock here. That pump is kind of uh, submersible in there, and we're going to make a removable cover rock that hides that plumbing, and the plumbing is kind of sticking up in the air right now where it won't once the uh, pipe gets relaxed. It's just circular coil, but that's... That's running. I'm going to do a little bit of work on each one of these falls to grind the underside to where it's peaked like my hand. Right now it kind of comes like that a little bit and it's not running real good. So we're going to we're going to grind underneath just to get a little better waterfall action out of there, a little glass. But that's a 1500 gallon per hour pump and that's about the most we can run on this guy and still recover our splash. We checked these rocks by putting cardboard on them to see that we had containment and recovery and we do. So Real happy with that. Now it's time to kind of do a little more uh, rock making here. We gotta make a removable cover rock to hide that. This is gonna be a permanent. There'll be two rocks up there. One is a cover rock that's removable, so I always have access to that plumbing. Second to that, it's gonna be a, a built-in rock. And then that pond is done. This one, like I say, we'll get that one built, so. Okay, we've cut all the rock tops and we've got them wired together. In fact, we're going to replace this one on the right here because it's it's just too flat. I'm going to bring another panel tomorrow and we'll just replace that. This is part of our table rock panels that we had and I just used it and it didn't look real good after I got it there. So we'll do that again in the morning. Here's one rock, the top's not on it yet. When we take it off, we're gonna wire it and mud it from the inside. This rock is covering the actual pipe that comes over right here. You can see the pipe right there. This is covering the pipe. This is a removable rock, so is this one. So you can get in and hydro seal the pond very easily. Right now, there's not a lot of room if you did have to get in there. You know, a little bit right here, a little bit right over here. You could not really seal this thing. So these two rocks are removable. Down there, we're going to make two rocks, one for the float, one for the pump discharge uh, that comes up and over the bond beam into the soil. Still got some rocks to finish, but it's coming along. This back isn't viewable from the view area, and it's just going to be left like that. You can see the flex PVC down in there. In this shot, all of the rocks are made, but the float and pump rock here still needs a top, as well as the replacement top for the right rock. And there's a little touch up on several areas across the entire feature, but this is the final touch stage. We're gonna get it wrapped up. Okay, in this shot, the unit has just been stained and sealed, of which I had no part of. Fred, he's a painter and he matched the rocks the existing rocks on the back of his wall so looks pretty good i mean really can't tell from a photo anyway but the removable rocks the lower uh, float and pump rock is off here you can see where it sits on the bond beam it's just off in the dirt so you can stain it and then the top two rocks are also removed when you stain all of your detachable rocks are always moved away from where they're sitting so you can get stained through all the areas but that's a that's a wrap i got a video next of uh, it running and fred saying some nice words she loves how the water comes down she did a little bit of landscaping here and there i got to cover that up but for right now, Jim, it was a godsend to have you here. See you uh, creating this wonderful future for us and all your hard work was a blessing. Well, that's going to wrap my end up on this project. I uh, really appreciate you guys watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please like my video, share my video, and subscribe. And keep watching my channel. Thanks a lot, guys.